Riley here for Board Game Geek TV at Spiel 2014. I'm sitting down with your favorite and mine, Matt Leacock. Hi, Matt. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and I'm really excited because I know you've been waiting for this longer, oh. but I've been waiting very <laughs> avidly for this to come yeah, out too, time, yeah. which is uh, Pandemic the Cure, which is the diaper version of Pandemic, which you uh, got to sort of display at sure. BGGCon last year. That's right. And so here it is and all of its post-production glory. <laughs> So for those who maybe hadn't seen the footage, um, what is different about The Cure versus Pandemic the board Oh games? yeah, so it's uh, like Pandemic, but it's kind of reduced down into, so it only takes about a minute to set up and it plays in about a half an hour. Um, and of course there's no board. So the board is now these uh, region tiles and um, you still have your team. You're still trying to find the uh, four diseases here. And uh, you still win when that happens? You're okay. all four and then you got it, right? Um, but uh, in, like the board game, there's a lot of tension in it. Uh, but it also adds a little bit of a press your luck feel. Um, so you, every turn you have to kind of figure out, is this good enough or should we press a little harder with the risk of there being uh, epidemics? And since I happen to be lucky enough that I know how to play this, why don't we just play a turn sure. or two? Because I think you that- You want to play a turn? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, why not? Because I can just okay. jump right in this one. Sure, all right. <laughs> so why don't you just uh, throw me right. out a roll at random here. Okay, which... <laughs> well, randomly here, pick one out. All right, I am the medic. Okay, I'll be so the... I get my matching medic dice, which are specific. I'll be the scientist. So, and you get your specific right, scientist dice, which are pretty awesomely fabulous custom dice. Yeah, here. each roll has their own dice, uh, unique to them. Okay. So, I, as the medic, I'm going to start by rolling my dice. Right. And then I see, oh no, oh, I have bad. two biohazard symbols right. right from the get-go, so I cannot re-roll those. So I'm just going to put them... It also takes up the infection rate by two. Two, oh, yeah. yes. Um, and then of the ones I have left, uh, because I'm the medic, I'm very good at treating yeah, things. Right. So. Let me pull these in um, the oh, thank you. Okay. So uh, with my two syringes here, I might take one, two dice right. here to the middle. And uh, I, you know, I've don't, I don't have anything left to cure, so I'm going to re-roll some more. And uh, now I've got a boat and a, and a syringe. So now I do have the ability with my boat to move the slow way. And then uh, I have a treatment bottle here, a collection bottle. What was your official terminology on that? A bottle. A bottle. All right. And so with that, I'm going to take a sample and put it over here on my card. And now I've decided I, I don't want to risk any more... Uh, biohazard symbols since I got two right from the get-go. So I think I, I will stand pat with my roll. Time to infect the world. Time back. to infect the world! There you go. Let me... <laughs> I might know this game or something. <laughs> so, I'm going to draw three. three. And I will match them one and one. Oh, we need some cards there. Three and three. Oh. Yep. And, oh, look at how nice that came up by chance. Oh, the, the cross. I, yes. There you go. Which I shall put in the CDC. Right. And we've got three things to choose from here. We've got a uh, containment attempt, one quiet night, and good planning. So these event cards appear. You have three of them in any time. Thank you. <laughs> three, three at any time. And the cost is right there in uh, classes. So we can do this one for one, or we can wait and get some more. Well, let's later. see. allows me to reroll a uh, player die with a biohazard result, but. Yeah. You should keep I that say, in mind, you know, yeah. next time, yeah. I say blaze for it, right. Matt. All right, here we go. <laughs> Save the world. Okay, well, I got a biohazard as well, so I'm going to that up. And it looks like I'm in pretty good shape here. I can treat and then bottle, and we can work on red together. Mm. So why don't we do that first? So I'll treat this here, spend that, and then I'll bottle that up, bring it back here. And uh, as much as I'd like to treat or bottle, I can. I was thinking I might try to move over there. Oh, and yes, then, uh, yes. Uh, I have, there's yeah. plenty of red. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and try to roll that. Okay, and I got a ship or a bottle here. So I will move there, and then I can treat another red. Continue to work on red. And so I think. Uh, the uh, bag. There we go. And it, if I might be so bold and cheat yes. for a moment. Sure. Bad let, let, let us say that perhaps that was oh, that no. was what happened. I three black oh threes. no! This that totally happened here. by chance. Totally. <laughs> can't fit, right? You only have three of a color, so it outbreaks into here, and we mark another outbreak right there. Right, so, which so of course, if you get eight outbreaks, 
everybody dies. And since that's kind of everyone's favorite thing to know about a co-op game, what are the other ways in which we can die? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> um, so when you're you're um, uh, rolling your, your player dice and you get additional biohazards, if uh, aside from not being able to re-roll them or right, use right. them, you have to move these up. And when you hit a epidemic symbol right here, you have to take this number of dice, three in this case, and then. Any uh, dice that you had in the treatment center also get rolled. For extra go, badness. Right, those go back out into the out into the world, often causing additional outbreaks and uh, mayhem. This would go in here. Now, so people have seen us now collect some uh, right. colored dice here to our cards. How does that going to get us to Yeah, so at wave? the end of my turn, I could take these from my roll card and pass them over to you so that on your turn, you can uh, roll them, right? Uh, because the last thing you do in your turn is roll these dice and hope for a cure. Now that's probably about the worst roll you can I get. I think that is yeah. probably aside from maybe two, uh, two plus signs. That's a one, right. Uh, <laughs> so what you need to do, uh, you're probably going to want to get more than two dice, but you need to get a 13 or better, and then you get a cure, and you mark it on the uh, cure card like so, right? If you can get all four of those, then you win the game. If you, but of if course, you miss, then you just hang on to those and try again next turn. So, which is nice. Uh, it's not exactly a penalty in that you get punished. Although those dice are out of commission until you right. are able, so it, it is sort of a penalty in that some of my resources and my mental energy now are locked up. exactly locked up on. on oh, I'm right. so close to a cure. Yeah. <laughs> it's worth noting that so I'm the scientist. I would get to add two to any cure attempt. Even with if Beth was in my region, she get to add two. So that's my special thing. I'm also very good at bottling. I have an easier chime time bottling up uh, samples. And since we're talking about roles, um, maybe we can just kind of do a, a quick run through sure. of the different roles. Obviously, a medic, uh, traditionally, uh, like for uh, Matt Scientist here, he has a single syringe, which right. allows us to move a single die either to the middle or back to the bag, too, since we could lose right. by running out of right. dice. Um, my medic has ones that are two or three, allowing me to move any combination from my area of right. two or three dice. Yep. So my, my syringes are better than your syringes. Yep. We have the uh, generalist, who's got very boring dice, uh, but gets seven of them, so. Rather than five. Rather than five, so you get a much better set. You can ignore the first biohazard. Uh, the dispatcher here is very good at moving uh, people from his um, region, can send people out for free, and also gets this nice little helicopter uh, side for airlifting. Uh, let's see, the researcher, like in the pandemic board game, very good at giving away samples. Yeah, because uh, typically we'd have to be in the same yeah. region together. Right, now you can give them out wherever you are. Yeah. Uh, the containment specialist has got two good things going on if you want to hand me those dice. Absolutely. Uh, whenever the containment specialist enters a region with two or more cubes, uh, one of them just automatically goes in the center. And then uh, this die will allow you to take three from the center and put them back in the bag. Which is handy when you're coming up on one of these right. junctures where you might trigger an epidemic. Yeah, you can and have a have very massive pile of dice in the For center. sure. <laughs> and then the contingency planner is actually pretty interesting in that uh, when he's in a region, instead of putting a, when you roll a cross, instead of putting a die in the center, you can set it to a cross and put it directly in the And these are the things that allow yeah, us to buy our, our special powers. Yeah. <laughs> Now, did you find, I, I, which by the way, I love the nice touch that these look like uh, like little badges. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, the die a little cut. clip. Yeah, yeah, that was it. <laughs> we gotta get some clips so we can wear them around. I know, too. seriously, yeah, how official would that be if you're yeah. actually playing the game and you, know, you had, you'd have to have on all those little stretchy ones so you could swing it around oh, so you, you could check your power. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but um, I'm also noticing that you as well have a little player aid here just yeah, to run through the. Almost every role in the game is all in one card. Because that's kind of how you do things. <laughs> how long do you think a, a complete game would take? It's about 30 minutes. Yeah. So faster than the. Yeah, the yeah. And also, I mean, the setup is so fast. You can you can really really play a game quick. Now, any uh, expansions planned for this one? Uh, I'm certainly working on some. Yeah, we'll see how the how people like this, and uh, yeah, <laughs> knock on wood. <laughs> Now I heard that uh, you guys have, have been demoing this obviously over at the, the Z-Man booth and yeah. people have been uh, receiving it pretty well. And yeah, yeah, it's been really fun. Uh, apparently it's, it's moving very quickly. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to get a set, better move quickly. So the yeah. pandemic train continues. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Well, Matt, thanks as always, uh, particularly for letting me sort of bust in and, of and course, explain yeah. some of the rules. Yeah, normally so, I have to. Uh, explain well, you know, normally I just get awesome. to sit here and nod. So you know, it's nice to have a little role reversal there. Yeah, very good. <laughs> and thank you as always, and uh, good luck with future endeavors. Great, thanks, Matt. <laughs> All right.